Navy Pier welcomed about 8,000 art lovers over the weekend. It was the first in-person International Art Expo since 2019. On display, rare pieces worth tens of thousands of dollars. But Morning Insider Lauren Victory also found some work done by budding high school artists. Dip it in that red, just like a teeny bit. Whether painting, cutting, or gluing. And kind of yeah. swirl it in with that pink a little bit. Creativity is always encouraged in the art lab. It's hearts coming off of the branches. And that's you? Yeah. Growing. Mm -hmm. Growing their artistic abilities. Like it. And experimenting with self-expression. I just take a canvas and just do what I'm feeling. Recently, Promise Hawkins' artwork became artwork. So she was setting up the cameras, the lighting, the backdrop. Photos of Promise and her peers taken by Michelle Clark High School's artist in residence, professional photographer Marjana Abrahamic. The more she talked to me, the more ideas I got. A stroke of inspiration. Let's go! That deserved more exploration. So Abrahamic's mentees traveled to her world at Navy Pier. Inside, art dealers, curators, and collectors gazed at thousands of pieces in the Expo Chicago show. Yeah, yeah. Amid the more than 100 booths. Yeah, did you see that with your best yeah. friend? Some familiar yeah. faces. And I've, I've learned so much from you. You, you know? see, while Abrahamic was teaching the young artists. These collages, you know. They were teaching her fuel for her latest project about the life of a girl. I don't think I would have ever had the opportunity to come into contact and, and to engage with uh, young uh, high school women. So she put their work on display too. I'm excited. I'm excited for other people to see how I look at art. Look at them. Sharing perspectives thanks to CPS Lives. The nonprofit hopes to bring many more partnerships like this One, two. to other schools. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. And CPS Lives pays about 20 professional artists to pair with Chicago Public Schools right now. To see more stories like this, download the CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insider.